guys, and welcome to the Family Fudge. And welcome to part five of my 2017 Christmas gift guide. Now on previous videos, I shared what we purchased for my four kids for Christmas this year. And if you'd like to see those videos, I'll go ahead and link them down below. But in today's video, I'm talking about stocking stuffers. So stay tuned. Okay guys, now before we get started, just a few things. First off, our kids are still relatively young. They're seven and under. So in our house, Santa brings the stockings. So the ideas that I'm gonna show you today are just things that Santa would normally bring us. You know what I mean. Now, second of all, when Santa brings stockings, he likes to keep things even in our house. So you'll see some similar things throughout each of the stocking ideas. And thirdly, in our stockings, we normally find a mixture of yummy treats and little toys and things like that. So they're not extravagant or over the top or anything like that. It's usually something small that actually fits inside the stocking. So let's get started. Okay guys, so here's a good example of what Santa normally brings in our stockings. Right here I have Griffin's, he's one and a half. This one is Mackenzie's, she is almost eight. This one is Jackson's, he's almost six. And this one is Lily's, she is four. Now because these kids are actually really close in age, their stockings tend to be very similar. Whereas the one and a half year old, he's not allowed to have little toys and certain foods yet. So his stocking's gonna be a little bit different. Now just about every year at the bottom of each stocking we find an orange. Now this is something that Santa used to bring to me as a child as well. And there's actually a story that goes along with that. Let me know if you know what that story is. If you don't, I'll try to find it and link it down below. But yes, we always have an orange at the bottom of our stocking. Next we normally have one or two sort of big ticket items. Now I say big ticket items, but they're really not expensive at all. And I like that these are sort of items that are going to last more than just a day. Day, if you know what I mean. So first up I have this race car kit. This is a Melissa and Doug painting kit so you can make your own little race car. So this would be for Jackson. Then I also have this little create your own princess carriage. That one would be for Mackenzie. And then we have a paint your own butterfly kit and this one would be for Lily. Now obviously my toddler is not coloring or painting yet. So instead of one of these, he's gonna get his own little remote control. Okay, so for our next sort of big ticket item, I have some water wows. Now these are actually really fun. These are also a Melissa and Doug product. And basically you just fill up this little pen with water. It has a little felt tipped on there. And then you can go ahead and paint or sort of paint these with water. And this book will dry and the kids can actually use it over and over again. And it's no mess, you guys. So this one is animal themed. So this one would probably be a Lily's. This one is construction themed. So this one would probably be Jackson's. And the fairy tale one would most likely go to Mackenzie. Now, unfortunately, these do say ages three and up. So Griffin will not be getting one of those. Next up, we have some really fun socks. We love fun socks in our family. They're sort of a big deal to us. And so every year we give socks. Now these are actually magic socks. I don't know if you've heard about these, but I'll go ahead and link them down below. But basically these are compressed socks. And then when you get them wet, they'll expand into regular size socks. So this cow one would most likely be for Lily. The butterfly one would most likely be for Mackenzie. We have a dinosaur one for Jackson, and it's cute little crab one for Griffin. Next up, we have some books. Santa almost always brings us small books in our stockings, and these are very similar to something that you might find at the Dollar Tree. Now this one I think Griffin might like. This is a Sesame Street board book, all about going to bed. And here's one that Lily might like. It's a My Little Pony, also a board book. And then for the older kids, we have some joke books. These are National Geographic books. So they have animals in there. So it's kind of educational, but it also has a lot of jokes. So I'm thinking that Mackenzie might like that one and Jackson might like that one. Another fun idea for stockings would be little Play-Dohs. I think that Mackenzie might like the pink one, Lily might like the purple, and Jackson might like the green. Now unfortunately, Play-Doh does say two and up, and I happen to know that my toddler would most likely eat it, so he's not gonna be getting one. 
Next up, we have something totally practical, but I know the kids are going to love, and you can find similar things at Target, but these are character band-aids. So this PJ Masks one, I think Jackson would like. This My Little Pony one, I think Lily would like. And I'm pretty sure Mackenzie would love to have the troll ones. Now my three older kids love to draw and to write, so I think that they're really gonna be excited to see these multicolored pens. Now all of these are actually Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer themed, and on the top there's actually a little stamp as well of Rudolph, isn't that cute? I used to have things like this when I was a kid and I loved them. So we have one for Mackenzie, one for Jackson, and one for Lily, but none for Griffin. Now something totally impractical I know the kids are going to love. We have these smaller sized cans of Silly String. These are just like the ones you can get from the Dollar Tree. I think that the kids are going to be really excited about these. Now these do say eight and up, but I know that my younger kids can handle them because they've had them plenty of times before. So let's see, I'm thinking for Jackson, for Lily, and for Mackenzie. Another fun idea for stockings could be some bath bombs. Now these ones are made for kids and they come in really fun cupcake shapes. I'm thinking this one for Mackenzie and this one for Jackson and this one for Lily. Next up I have some yummy treats I know my toddler will like. I have a tiny box of goldfish crackers that will fit perfectly in there. And then I have this box of toddler fruit snacks. Now these are actually organic peach flavored fruit snacks. And it says there's a whole serving of fruit in there. These are recommended 12, and, 12 months and up so I know he can handle them. And I know he's gonna be excited to give these a try. Next up I have some yummy treats for the older kids. First up I have a bar of Turkish Delights. Have you guys ever tried these? These always make me think of the book The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, which we love that book and that movie. So I know the kids are gonna be excited to see this. We have one for each of those guys. And then also for the older kids, something I know they're gonna be excited to see is one of these little candy canes. And these ones have Reese's Cups in them. Yum, they all love, whoop, they all love Reese's Cups and so do I. Now as you can tell, these stockings are getting pretty full. So I just have one last little treat. I have some shortbread cookies. Now these are the traditional Scottish ones, which I love. I grew up eating these, and so I know my kids are gonna be excited to have those. And Griffin can have those as well. They're not too hard for him. What's fun about these treats is that it's not something that the kids normally have on a day-to-day -day basis, so it's definitely a special find in the stocking. Okay guys, so here's a good example of what my husband might find in his stocking. Now, unlike the kids, the adult stockings don't normally have as much stuff, and it's kind of usually a mixture between practical things, yummy treats, and some funny things as well. Now, just like the kids, normally there's an orange at the bottom of the stocking, and then also some practical things. First up, I have a little tool kit, just like this. We have a little box cutter, some tiny screwdrivers, and some Allen wrenches. Not expensive, but totally useful, especially when you need them. Next up, I have a rechargeable emergency flashlight. Now this is actually pretty cool. I've seen things like this at the Dollar Tree as well. But basically, you just unlock it like this, you turn it on, and then you can crank it like this with your hand, and it will recharge the light in there. So that would be great for an emergency. Now something useful that's also kind of funny, this is a bottle of Poo Puri. Now if you haven't seen the commercials for Poo Puri, you should go and look them up after this video because those commercials are really funny. And that's all I'm gonna say about the Poo Puri. I'm sure he's gonna think it's funny. Now also sort of in the funny category, we have a bag of coal. Now he also might get his favorite kind of chocolate, which are these guys. These are the assorted Lint Lindor balls. These are really tasty. And this one has three different flavors, milk chocolate, dark chocolate, and white chocolate. Definitely his favorite. And then we have some pistachios. Almost every year he'll find a small bag in his stocking, as well as some rice candies. He really likes these candies. They're kind of old and hard to find, but yeah, he really likes those. 
And then finally, he also usually gets a pair of fun socks. Now these ones are especially fun because they're Superman, but as you can see right here, there's a little cape on there, and then that looks like the little Superman underwear, so it's kind of funny all at the same time. Okay guys, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Also, let me know in the comments down below what does Santa bring in your stockings? Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.